Merci beaucoup, monsieur. Thank you, Chairman. Uh, Vice President Sheenas, I would like to welcome your proposal. This is a very complex file, but clearly we cannot simply allow the current situation to continue. As Sophie and Edveld pointed out, we are going to start enhancing certain aspects of the text and improving it. I have two questions. One of them is about solidarity. What can we do to ensure that a large majority of member states participate in this mechanism? You talked about an exception you want to introduce so as to take the wind out of the populist sails, in other words, the possibility to refusal. What about that? My second question, as, a, as the rapporteur in the current regulation, which is destined to disappear, Dublin, I've seen in many member states that there's a, a real difference between the texts and there are practical implication. What governance do you intend to provide for this mechanism? What cooperation, cooperation mechanism so as to ensure that as time goes by, member states can better understand each other and work together? For the time being, member states jealously guard their sovereignty when it comes to these measures. What can we do so as to ensure this cooperation does exist at a European level? Uh, we live in a shared common space. What can we do to work together in a collective way? Not connected. And Mr. Cofford just left. So he 